Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna have a look on how to create materials for this hoodie I created in Marvelous Designer. I'll show you how to blend normal maps, add sheen to the shaders and create a fuzzy look to edge a bit the hoodie. Here in my I have just an avatar to fit the hoodie and the hoodie itself is composed of different parts to make our life easier assigning materials. We're going to start from scratch with the default lamber assigned to the hoodie. Let's assign a new Arnold shader to every piece. I want a very dark color, not going full black but closer. Next you want to have some high roughness value, reduce the specular weight and add some anisotropy. Next we're going to mess with the sheen attributes. Play around with the values, be aware that a really small value goes a long way already. Now I'm creating a file node to connect a fabric normal map and then repeat it a few times. Let's create a normal map node and connect the file to the shader. Doing a render, we don't notice the pattern too much, so let's go back and change a bit the repetition. Now it's more noticeable. Ok, importing a new normal map to break a bit the repetitive pattern and add some details. In order to blend the two normal maps, we create a layer RGB node and change the blending mode to normal map. And this is the result of the two normal maps. Let's dial down the second one, as it's a bit too intense. Now we're going to duplicate the current shader and assign it to the sleeve ends. Load a new fabric pattern and change also the repetition. Let's duplicate again the main material and assign it to the top pads. Then I just need to change the base to a brownish color. And this is the result so far. Ok, one thing we need to change is the color space for the normal maps. Since we're rendering with ACES we should set normal maps to raw. And immediately you have a more natural look. Let's just dial down the second normal map. Ok, in order to create some fuzz we need to use XGen. But we can't really use XGen in such an high poly mesh. So we're going to need to create a proxy mesh with a low poly count for the fuzz. So duplicate the parts that are going to need fuzz and combine them. Then you want to use the reduced feature and set it to a high value. Now we have a proxy mesh that can handle better the XGen creation. Let's go to Generate and create interactive groom splines. And by default it's not looking very promising, so we need to change a few things. Let's select the description, change a bit the width scale and taper. In the scale tab we, we really need to dial it down. Now we need a noise modifier to create the fuzz look. Just increasing the frequency and playing with the other attributes. I also want to change the density overall, so I am increasing the density multiplier. Ok, let's create a material for the fuzz, in this case I am just going to use a standard Arnold shader. 
set the base color to a very dark value, add some specular and finally some sheen. We will play with these values to achieve the final result. Let's hide the proxy geo, unhide the original hoodie and do a test render. As you can see it's a bit too intense, so let's tweak a few settings. Change the overall scale to a lower value to start with. Let's do some region renders and keep tweaking the scale. Ok, this is the result we have so far, looking better, but still we need to change a few attributes in the shader. So I ended up dialing down the sheen and specular mount for the fuzz shader. Let's do a final render. And this is our final result. If I compare with and without fuzz, you can see that we're getting some sort of aging effect and adds more detail overall. Ok, this is it, hope you learned something new and let me know if you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one, bye bye.